my beer experience started out like most people on college party, cake, beer. I wasn't really a big fan. It took probably, I don't know, another three or four years for one of my buddies to really get me into craft beer, to really show me what it was. My introductory beer was Sam Adams Boston Lager, and that just opened up the gates for me. Every time I go in, it is slightly different in bars. You go to a brewery, you want instantly friends with the guy next to you. You can talk about anything and everything, and you are friends. I have never seen that type of friendliness anywhere else. And that is something I would love to share, not only in the beer community, but in further aspects of our community in Dayton. I learned how to brew from my father, actually. Uh, so it's kind of a little family thing that's been passed down. Every beer that we do, we're trying to you know, be creative and do something new. We don't want anything that we're putting out to be boring. Um, we want to give you a reason to keep coming back. Uh, Jared being who he is, uh, being our brewmaster, I mean, he is the brains behind what we're doing as far as um, our recipes. Uh, he's been brewing at this point for 10 years. So it's a fun hobby, but what's next? And we literally had that conversation where we sat down and said to ourselves, you know, I think we can do this. We can, we can make this happen. There's already been a, a huge resurgence of breweries popping up in the Dayton area. And we're excited to be part of that and we're excited to bring the first craft hard cidery to Dayton as well. I think it takes two really good and good breweries to really get good quality beer. You need multiple input and you need like-minded individuals, but not the same mind. We wanted to do something that encompassed all of our personalities, um, all of our likes and dislikes. That's why we're doing craft beer. We're going to do hard cider. We're going to uh, do gluten free beers. We really want everybody in the community to feel like there's something here for them. Everything is going to be locally sourced, and that's going to be locally grown fruit, vegetables, any type of ingredient we get to put in not only our beer, but our site. We want to bring craft appliance to the beer community that we've grown up in, the beer community that we've become a part of. We're locals to the Dayton area. We visit all of the other local breweries. We support local beer. We drink beer made here. The time is going on more about it. We're just growing while we do this. The beer community is insanely nice. Um, and for no other reason, that's it. To give back to the folks that continually uh, push and thrive this industry on. So how can you help? So the money from Kickstarter goes to a few different things. The rest of our equipment to actually outfit our brewery, to help produce our beers, to ferment our beers, to ferment our hard cider, and also build up our tap room. So we put some awesome rewards together for our backers as well. We have Flags, so shirts, pint glasses, growlers, bottle openers, all kinds of cool stuff. We have a tasting panel and a small batch group. These are exclusive groups that really get to help shape the crafted pints character as it goes along. If you are really somebody that enjoys beer, that enjoys the journey that I feel a beer should take you on, it's not just about the taste as much as the experience, the memories, the things that you can take away after you finish that glass. You know, we just want to bring quality product that we're passionate about to people who think we're passionate about it with us. We don't want to just make good beer. We don't just want to be at the standard. We want to be above it.